I should not have been. It was written that 23 years ago, in the year of the fire horse, a deity would be reborn in the body of a mortal man, a savior. My clan believed this sword was forged in heaven for a deity. No Have you taken me now? Please send me back. Let me go. Without me, they will perish. Answer me. I am not ready to die. Not yet. Bohan, a king from a distant country, seeks the heavenly sword. He seeks it as a symbol of his dominance over my clan, and with it, his dominance over the land. Bohan has hunted us for months.
don't die as your slave, Bohan! Shen. He has always been my tutor first, and my father second. My accursed birth, and the death of my mother, are hard for him. I fear that part of him can never truly forgive me for that. There! Look! Another wave approaching!
Make a break for the frozen river. Cover our backs with the cannon and remember, if you see catapults, head east and don't stop running.
captured, the heavenly sword is lost, and the clan Like you're out. Oh. Give 
What are you doing? Am I watching a ballet? Kill her! Worms. It's tasty. The others. Father. Where are they? Gone. Dead? Not dead. Gone. Gone where? Master Shen said I must hide. And did you? Yes.
Thank you, Nariko. You fight with style. Hello, style. Perhaps you're here looking for your father. I think you might have a troubling time finding all the pieces. <laughs> Oh! 
Tell me, Nariko, do you know how to die? <laughs> Average. You need more time. The clan believed that guarding the heavenly sword was an honor, but I did not. I despised it. I secretly imagined that maybe the heavenly sword was just a sword, not sent from heaven at all, nor likely to be claimed by some grateful deity that would make everything right again. If that were so, then I was not a curse, or any of the other things they called me. This I kept to myself. What's she doing here? Damn it, the window! Is this a trap? Maybe she can help us. She'd better help herself first. You should have stayed at home. keeping him somewhere else.
Use the levers. Free your clan. Where are you taking us? We have to find my father. At what cost?
pretty cool. <laughs> I'm excited to hear the audio of the game when um, <laughs> when I watch it back because <laughs> I still just never heard it. It's got to be a real banger soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, we heard some on the stream earlier. We heard, like, the title screen, the title track. <laughs> Main theme. Yeah, it is really weird that a small game such as that <laughs> has no one. It, well, it doesn't anymore. Like, that, there's not a page uh, for it. Yeah, there's not a page, there's no like, rhyme. There's a page for a fucking Nickelodeon fit or a fucking yeah, Star or like Club, Club Penguin Band Percent or yeah. fucking Google Snake 50 Apples, but not an actual, mm. like, full, proper actual game <laughs> that was made by, like, people who had, like, money and, like, sold, yeah. like, millions of copies. Well, whatever. To be honest, like, I don't know whether they were putting in the sales figures like the, uh, the, what do you call it, like, because like, it was a launch title, like, and imagine it came pre-bundle with a lot of, like, uh, uh, with a lot of fucking PS3s, so I imagine they also include that in the sales figures, where it's like, nobody actually bought your fucking game, though, did they? <laughs> they bought a PS3. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, three minutes ahead of I think I think there's more sections that are just uh, time based, like where you like where they give you like tutorials. Although annoyingly, I actually think this is like this is kind of pre-run file manipulation because I've just realised that like I don't get the tutorials anymore in game, <laughs> and the tutorials literally pause the game to tell you to do something, and 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 like you have to do it to get the prompt to go away. And sometimes it's like, hey, go look at the combo in the menu that you just unlocked. And it's like, I don't want to do that. And you have to pause and navigate through the menu to like go look at the combo just to move on, just to progress in the game. But I think since I beat it the first time, I just idly only realize that the hints aren't showing up anymore. So that's like a time save. Actually, that might be why I saved like two minutes on that one spot. This is where you first get the, the heavenly sword. And it's like telling you about all the different <laughs> things. Because you just use like a regular sword before that in the game, and then when you get it, it's like, oh, Sounds here's silly. all the things you can do with it. I don't think it's a very good sport. I could be wrong. Whoa, where the fuck did he come from? Jesus. Okay. It's bait and trap. Yes, okay, four minutes ahead. So I did save like a minute. It was a good fight. But yeah, this, this this game has one trick. It has one skip. Apart from like some minor skips I found. It has one skip. And I can't do it. I haven't pulled it off once. And I go for it. I've been... I've been... I've gone for it like maybe ten times. Like I went into the level to try and do it a few times. And then every run I've done, I've gone for it. And um, I failed it every single time. Shit. I know what to do. I just... It's like tricky. What the hell? I'm using range dance. There we go. I've also like found some weirdly like some combos work really well on some bosses that like can drain like this fish lady. This is like one combo that takes like half of the health away in like one hit. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, well, I mean like one of her health bars of which she has three, so it's not like it kills her straight away. And they're like all different sections. But like yeah, some some combos seem to work like really well on some bosses, and then some just work like. Like, don't use much. There's one, there's one like mini boss kind of thing, which is like you can. I found out you can stun lock using a thing. And it's basically like two minutes of just doing the same combo over and over again, stun locking him. And the funny, the best thing about that is that there's an unskippable cutscene, or at least part of an unskippable cutscene after that, where like the main baddie is like talks about how entertaining the fight was. 
and it's like <laughs> the only fight I've found out how to cheese. So I just like stun lock this guy every single time, and it's like, oh, how entertaining! No. It's like you're well played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Fish lady's really annoying. It's like, every time she... Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I know, yeah. Of course not. Every time I like, every time you like, do um, damage to her, she like fucking flies off to the other side of the, or swims off to the other side of the map and then like, uh, the arena and starts like, hitting you somewhere. Like waves. Okay. Don't don't swim away. Don't swim away. Don't swim away. in the shit. Yeah, it's dude, fuck me, that was sick. It's like, melted the hell. Don't <laughs> swim off the other side of the map, no. Okay, just actually like swim like kind of halfway. Grab you. Yeah, I'm, I haven't made my notepad of all the QTEs yet either. But there's like, oh, a, there's like a lot of them. This is the only thing putting me off. I was like, okay, if I get a good run, that's like under two. If I get a run that's like under two and a half hours, I'll go for it on two X and like try and remember where all the QTEs are. Some of them I can basically. Some of them I remember now. Like I knew that one was circle when you're drowning her and she like grabs your throat. It's like circle to get her to fuck off. Because <laughs> it's also like annoying because it's like a boss fight. But oh wow, I saved a minute there. It's like a boss fight, but you have to like do something else, which takes like six minutes in the middle of the boss fight as a different character. Yeah. You're like you do phase one and phase two, and then it's like, hey, you're gonna do this other thing for a bit, and then you do phase three. <laughs> it's um interesting gameplay design. Yeah. <clears throat> Also, there's like a lot of room for improvement on like areas where you use like the arrow and stuff because you have that thing where you like control where the arrows go, but it's like slower. It's like way easier to use than like because the, the aiming's like ass. Um, it's like way easier to use, but it loses time because like it puts the game in like slow mo. So if you're doing like anything time based, which is a lot, like this one is like you go wait for the guy to like cross the bridge and like defend him while he's crossing the bridge. If you have to use the slow mo, you like lose time because it slows him down, because it's slow down. Which is, yeah. a, which is a sadness. It is a sad. Yeah. I could get like a, I think I could get like a sub 230 with this run. I lost like, I'm pretty sure I lost like six or seven minutes on a late split. One of the bosses I died to. 
and that's a reload the whole fucking thing. It was great. Mm. It was great. <clears throat> Another thing though is just like when you do the slow mo, you can kind of change the trajectory of things, but then you can like let go to sort of leave them on the trajectory they're on. Just like. Even if you do use it, there's like a level of optimization where it's like, well, how confident are you with the shot you just took or like the direction it's currently on? So like leave it and just hope it, hope it hits. There's like a lot of like, like kind of, I guess, consideration in that way, which is quite fun. Where I found myself like taking a risk on like a risky shot, like leaving it after like a, a couple of seconds of direction rather than, like, taking it all the way to the target. Right, yeah. But even that still controls, like, ass. So, like, there's a couple of times where I've been, like... Like, just now, I was, like, aiming for this pot, and I took the fucking, like, slow-mo thing all the way to the end and still missed. And that's like, that's uh, gutting. It's like, oh, that's like 10 seconds that I just lost. Yeah. It takes like a long, no, maybe not 10 seconds, but like 5 seconds I just lost to being like bad at the controls. <laughs> They're like really jumpy though, and like the perspective on it is not what it seems like. Especially when you're like aiming from guys from above, you're always higher than you feel. Like if you're aiming for their head or something. But I've noticed that yeah. like the slow mo shots are like one hit kill anyway. Oh yeah, also another un really annoying thing about this game is that in the combat, there is no one combo that will kill any enemy. Like, as in like, um, not just like, oh there isn't a catch all, as in like, no enemy in the game can be killed by just one combo. You have to hit them each enemy with like, at least two combos to kill them. Uh huh. <laughs> But, throwing swords at enemies is a one-hit kill, regardless of their health. So, it's really fast, if you can do it without getting hit, it's really fast to like pick up dead guy's swords and throw them at other guys. Right, to, like, so you just to like, clear out chain rooms. It. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's not always viable though, because if you get like enemies that like super aggro or RNG, they like, if you get hit, you drop the sword, like for example. So you've mm. got to like get some distance, and it's like the third person controls like ass, so actually getting like a precise lineup is really annoying as well. Yeah. So like, yeah, there's like two kind of quick ways to kill enemies. It's like one, you've got to knock them on the ground and you can stab them on the ground to finish them off. But if you get hit, or you get like locked into doing a combo, the character won't like, will continue doing the combo. Like if you're just like spamming attack to try and hit him on the ground. If you accidentally, like, like did attack one, two, uh, and didn't get, like, the sort of kill on the ground animation, she'll, like, carry on as if you're going for a combo. And it's like, no, this guy's, like, riding no. around on the floor, and then he gets back up, and you've got to knock him over again. It's really fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, so to do that, you would have to, like, sort of pause your attacking. Yeah, you'd have like, to stop for a fraction. Yeah, yeah, to, like, yeah. wipe it. Yeah, exactly. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm losing loads of time on this because I'm just like being a pussy about it. Annoying. <laughs> she did the bridge thing. I'm just like slow moing to kill all the guys. If he gets hit once, the thing is though, like, if he gets hit once, you have to restart the whole thing. And it takes like five to six minutes. Oh no, man. So it's like, oh, they're getting close. I better like slow mo that shit. Lose some time. Yeah, I lost yeah. 40 seconds there. Wow. Well, 30 seconds. Thanks to only split, I haven't called it. Oh, well, no 
messages when you die in Arrigo. Who will care? In this chapter. Oh, let me kill you. You're dead anyway. You have freed me, sister. No one will care when I got you like a stinking fish. There we go. Oh, mate, I'm mincing her. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like an actual coin flip whether you break a, like a lot of the bosses, yeah, for sure. It feels like an absolute coin flip whether your attack breaks their block or not. Like, if they're in the middle of an attack, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about like the, like the openings. I just kind of spamming attack at this point. Because like I've been trying to like look for openings in attacks or like go for effective counters, but the window on the counters is so slim. Like I can get them, but the problem is that like basically you've got like two well you've got like three stances, but like enemies will attack in ways that you can counter um, with and they will like flash a, a colour, yellow or blue. And if they're yellow, you have to be in a stance to counter that. Um, which is like hold R1. And if they're blue, you don't hold R1. Um, and you will block it if you're holding R1, like if it's the right one, and then or you'll get hit. And like to counter, you have to be in the right stance, block it, and then uh, immediately afterwards you have to uh, press triangle. And the window on it is so small, and the the they the time between them lighting up and actually doing an attack is like also really small. So like. I've basically to when I was whenever I've been going for counters, I've been like trying to just I've basically just been holding one stance and like guessing that they're gonna attack with that first. Because like right. it just feels like there's no way to actually predict or to react to the colour and be like, Oh, it's blue, I need to let go of R one and then get hit and then counter it. It's just a, it's just dumb. I don't think it's like I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad. But it feels like way too it looks like colour attack. Color attack, and then you have to be like, oh, counter. Do not abandon me. Like, attack, you have to basically press no, triangle, like, I want to say, like, point 0.2, within point 0.2 seconds of being hit. Jesus. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> yeah, you would have to have, like, inhuman reactions on every counter. <laughs> yeah. I want to <laughs> see I want to see someone who's, like, really, I want, I want to see a TAS of, like, someone doing, uh, <laughs> someone doing, like, a hard boss fight on this. Just like fucking mincing them, because it's totally possible. It's totally possible to not get hit. It's just like super. I don't know. I just, I just think it's super unlikely. Yeah. Well, whatever. Well, like a lot of the bosses, they'll just block whatever you do unless you get lucky with like right after they're done with an attack. I don't even know what the windows are. It's just to me, it feels like sometimes I hit them and sometimes I don't. I've been like trying to pay attention to. To be like, you know, oh, is it like right when they're finished doing an attack, or is it right before they start doing an attack? It's like, because like they will just like insta block you if they're not attacking. Like, there's no timing on like, oh, you can cut, you can like get behind them or whatever. It doesn't work like that. Don't know. I'm having fun trying to figure it out though, which is nice. Why'd you leave Kai alone, Noriko? It's so rare. I've been like... It's so rare to just like... Have a game that there's no, like, documentation for. In speedrunning is like another thing. Where it's like, oh my god, like, I'm doing this by myself. Like, there's nothing I can look up. I've been like... You know, I found like, a couple of like, tips and tricks for like, casual players. That I'm like, oh, I didn't think of that. That's a good idea. And then like... I've implemented that in a way, but like, um, yeah. Back up. Where in hell are you? Get up here. We've got trouble.
to fight. I thought my axe was gonna rust. I was like excited for uh, Sapu when I saw that he got a 101 today and I was like, oh no. That means I got the second best AGB run that somebody's done, like today. <laughs> I haven't even got like the today record AGB. <laughs> There's always another day. <laughs> With my fake PB. God. I can't wait to do like late game RTAs though, and like actually be good at the late game, or at least not lose three minutes, and then just like get a free PB. Yeah. I mean, watching Rack One is a double edged sword. Why? Because he makes you want to play it. Yeah. Or in general, I just like get reminded of how discontent I am with the times, but how I... Yeah, I do feel like that though. How I'm not really in the sport yet, so like... Really... Really grind uh, on it, because of like... Focus I mean, like, on it, yeah. Yeah, because of school. Uh, I guess, yeah. In general, I've just had a bad fucking streak this... Uh, break week as well, so... Um... But then, but then, yeah, it's just the gutting five minute battalion. <laughs> yeah. For instance. I would, uh. I wouldn't be able to watch it. <laughs> I'd just be like, yeah. okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a run now to beat that, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's just what's Look, at the time, some fucking personal shit came up. Um. And then I was fucking stressing out about that whole whether or not I should do school. Uh, this, I don't know. Um, so it's 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 on hold. But I I will not stand for one minute forty five on Metallia. <laughs> like I I I could so easily get top three. Like I've got low fifty two subs. What AGB. are you? Or, uh... What is your PP again? Uh, 5725, 57. I believe. 5725. Uh, okay, yeah. Another thing I've noticed... Like uh, my late game is really good in that PB, but fuck. Did you get a... Uh, you like, it was just a no reset. No, dude. I'm losing to It was just a no reset, which is why I didn't reset on that fucking battalion. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, there was a certain planet on from uh, from uh, from which I saved like impressively or lost like an impressively low amount of time compared to BPT. I wanna find it again. Bro. Yeah right. Oh my Both god, this is awful. Time sink. Yeah that was it. Um From Hoven on, uh, like after Hoven, so onto Gemnik, my BBT was 56.45. So I only lost 40 seconds to that from Gemnik all the way to Felden 2. With some golds, but still. Still means it's 40 of my subs. Yeah. That's across, like. 23 minutes of the run. Oh, damn. She's coming up here. Get over here, you lot. Yeah, that's pretty decent. 
Yeah, funnily enough, PB was on uh, April 1st, so. Oh, it is uh, a joke. Yeah, Battalia. Mm. You hate to see it. Yeah. Like it, it was, it was kind of late, and I had already like been resetting on the early game, so it was just like, oh, you know, just doing no reset, you know, whatever, losing time on Battalion, it's just PV. <laughs> cool. Hey. At least like, yeah. At least it's like that's kind of like um, getting like a Roof, run like that on like a, a no reset. It's kind of like, oh, so I can do it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's like, but like this is. So, so easily 55, if not for just Battalion. And I think Hoven and O2 were also kind of disgusting. Is it low, low 50? Not necessarily so good. A low 57 then? Uh, I had a 57 25, so it's oh, easily yeah. Yeah, yeah, 55 yeah. mid. And then I've also got the other mistake, so it's like, I could top 3, but you know, <laughs> it would be cool. But yeah. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. I want to know how long I'm gonna. I want to know how far I'm gonna go. I got 58 subs at the moment, and like, I think. Yeah. Cause... I want to know what my like biggest, what my biggest goal is to get. I'd probably Veldin two. My Veldin twos are pretty bad. I need to learn. Veldin like... two can be low three. Yeah. Yeah, I need to like do but like a proper right side. Gold potential might be big bigger. <laughs> Quartu is also low three. Quartu like, is low three. High two. High two. I got three. I have a three. I think I've got like a three, a high three though. I think I've got like a three fifty. Yeah, you had three fifty three. I think I saw. Yeah, so that's like what a minute. Is so that's like a minute there. It's like a minute on. Come gold. Two. Oh wow. Come gold to Yankee two forty seven. Okay. That's pretty, pretty lit. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a Velvet three oh six. Quality. I reckon fleet as well. I think I had like. I think I had a th mid three, maybe like a three twenty on fleet. Veldin 2 is 315. Okay. Yeah. And so. I've got a 325. Just pretty close. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was on Comgold pace at the time. Because Comgold was 318 then. Mm -hmm. And when I did the ILJ um, into the Drek Arena, um, I failed to keep my speed. Like into the RJs, yeah. so that was like a good, at least a couple seconds gone. Like I want to say, like seven. What's a good co in gold actually? What's the what's the co in Congo? Uh, four twenty four. It says four twenty four. That's pretty lit. I think I got like a four forty. I can see where there's. I can see where there's twenty. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like a four, four forty-seven. Uh, I want to say is my call. Uh, I've got a four thirty-one. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh shit! Neighbor against neighbor, brother against brother. And, and there's still the fake one forty fifty-two janky <laughs> Novalis. People don't have to die. Yes. There's an attack. My father that. once taught me. You can paralyze the bridge <laughs> for a time. Like he does, he does a strat where he jumps alive. off the bridge into the water, like a new game plus backup. Um, but not the new game plus. Um, but by doing that, you skip like the bomby boys bolts, which you kind of need, <laughs> like on most runs. Yeah, just likes the Velden style. Yeah, you know, save two seconds on Velden and Noval is lose four on Kerwin. It's a janky style. Also a big fan of this section. There's like a whole tail end of one of the chapters where you're like in the bad guy's like Colosseum basically and you like there's a bit where he puts you up right at the start of the bit where he puts you up against your like brothers in arms, like your clansmen. Um, and and the game's like Narika remembers a special move her father taught her for disarming people without killing them. And you're supposed to like paralyze all of the guys without killing them. But um, you only do that to get like extra points, which used to unlock combos. Um, and it is much faster to just kill them all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you just fucking slaughtered all of your own guys in this section. Nice. It's pretty good. 
So the Combos I feel like I'm relatively close to, for like the difficulty of the planet and all things considered. My Kerr one's probably pretty good. Um, Railgar isn't because I don't fit in the fifth. Um. <laughs> it's just occurred to me, because my desktop audio is on as I'm recording this, right? It's just, oh. a, it's just occurred to me that if I upload this, it's going to be um, the first a bit of silence. The first, yeah, it's going to be like an hour of silence. The first Heavenly Sword speedrun. It's going to be an hour of silence or like just game <laughs> audio, and then it's going to be about an hour and a half of people talking about a different speed game. Yeah. <laughs> What a what an amazing just, way to join like the that. world of speedrunning for I, this game. I imagine. 13 years later, and I can't even stay concentrated enough on the game to talk about <laughs> just the game. <laughs> hey, you can always turn it off and there will be another hour of silence. I <laughs> 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 I also haven't checked the levels, so I don't know how the levels are at all. Ah, I should have died for the uh, dying roll, whatever. Oh god, there's these guys as well. There's some guys that like you can only kill by shooting them in the head. And obviously the fast way to do it, like they're quite close to you. Like conceit of this section is that like, you're in a big ring and this like girl has no like health. Or she's like only has a bow, so you need to like make get your distance by like running around the ring. And then shooting them from the other side, but um, like it's obviously way faster to just try and like line up shots while they're close. Um, the only problem with that is that the bow fucking sucks ass, and they also one hit kill you. You have to restart the section, which is horrible. The bow. I've fucking... also been pretty close to Gaspar Conkold. But then France improved it. What is the Gaspar Congo? Is it sub 2? Yeah, absolutely. My Gaspar is sub 2. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know Gaspar what a good Gaspar Kongol. is because my Gaspar is only bad. It's a high 143. I've got a 149. Pretty good. Yeah, there's a strat for the second bolt where from respawning you mid air to the ship platform and then you mid air into Ruben SI. Oh my god, I should learn that just so I never fucking fail it again. It's it's pretty easy to be honest. Yeah. Like surprisingly easy compared to what Mitter Ruben S I used to me. <laughs> I also like there's a skip in this section which is really annoying. Uh, well, there's an idea for a skip in this section which is really annoying because it doesn't work, which is ridiculous. Basically, like mm. the conceit of it is that like you're trying to get this guy to give you this password and he's locked up in a room with these fireworks and you have to basically blow him out of the room by like shooting an arrow through some fire and then the hole in the door like through you speak to him you like direct the arrow to go through there and into the like hit the fireworks and blow everything up but like that door is accessible since before you kill the like hair the, since before you have to like run around and kill all the guys so i figured like oh if you just like knew what to do and shot it in there like surely that would skip having to kill all the guys and save like maybe a minute maybe like a minute and a half and it just doesn't work I was like, it blew my mind that it didn't work. I was like, they've literally patented, like, coded it in to say if you hit that box of fireworks with a flaming arrow before you've killed all the guys and had the cutscene when you have to talk to him and then mm. be like, and then have her be like, oh, I should like blow up the fireworks. It just doesn't work. <laughs> and I was like, it's just like the simplest, like you know, one of the like, just like a, just like a simple skip that should just. The, the idea that they've like gone out of their way to code that it just blows my mind. To code it that way. And they knew people were gonna try to speedrun it and break the game. <laughs> yeah, literally. Because like by default it would have to, it would have to be you know, that would be the trigger and then it plays this cutscene. And then whatever. But yeah. like So they've they've clearly had to code it and then go out of their way to be like, no 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 no, you have to have this cutscene first. Where she like Oh, I love fireworks. She's like this character's like she's like kooky. And she's like, I think she's got kind of like daddy issues or something. Like she had a whole clan killed before her eyes or something. Um, so she's like a bit mental. So like, like that's her thing. It's just like she's mental. Right. So she's like, oh, I love fireworks. Let me blow it up. And she also says to this guy, maybe I should hit your weak point for massive damage. <laughs> <laughs> While pointing a crossbow has 
bolt. Damn. <laughs> Murderous spirit. And like I said, I haven't heard any of the audio for this game, but I would love to hear how this character says that. Yeah. A kind of cringy thing that it does I never thought I'd is like sword. when people are like shouting and yeah, I've always, I don't know why I've always found this cringy, but like I've got the subtitles on, and like whenever someone's shouting, it puts it in like all caps, and I don't know why that's cringy to me, but it totally is. Probably how that, like how that comes across online, I suppose. Yeah. Or like in text form. Doesn't really do it justice. Yo, I'm on the uh, stunlock section. Yo. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, my hope would suck. The Rick he still put that com gold. Oh, I want to be close with Kenlick as well. Works on two is close. I mean, six seconds. This is my favorite. Split takes about a minute, uh, maybe two minutes. And it's just you doing the same combo. It's like you lock him in a corner and just do the same combo over and over again until he dies. And there's no like health bar, so you don't even know like how close you are. You just kind of hit him over and over again until he dies. Oh my god, he hit me. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Yo, I golded. Sub 2. Sub 2 a new threat, let's go. <laughs> also got a sub 2 twing twang. Twing twang. Twing twang. I think that's how, like, the main character tells the mental girl to kill people. She's like, you need to play Twing Twang. It's <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... pretty special. Now we've got a six minute, seven minute auto-scroller. So, that's fun. Also, I'm telling you that the on pace curse is real. I just remember, I just remembered this watching it back. It's not! The stats, li the stats don't lie. I mean, stats yeah. like it's like it's like half of on pace runs are world record or P PB, sorry, which is like better than you'd expect. It's like the opposite of the on pace guys. But go on anyway. Sorry. <laughs> the the uh, you know the second flea chain. Yeah. Um, the second Manto on paced, I uh, <laughs> I like lost it. No. Admittedly, it was my fault, but like it was, uh, it was like on the big platform in the middle. Easy lost me like fifteen to twenty seconds. <laughs> you hate to see it. Mm. Bruh, I hate you. Come on. Oh, yeah. that's funny. As I'm doing the blind jump after the bolt on the fleet, <laughs> Fran says, "Are you gonna do the blind jump?" <laughs> And I didn't die. Is that not just chat lag though? From the uh, from the replay? Uh, I was on PC. It was. Uh, oh. But he had, he had delay, I suppose, from watching. Yeah. That hit him. Yeah, let's go. Fucking, let's go. Ah, even my Kalibo sucked. Damn. I kid you not, I had a I had a Kalibo that was com gold pace at the time. Um but then I bonked on the way out of the second bolt, and then I fucking bonked on the ship nose. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. Hate to see it. You do. Also, I think, let's see, the other chain to the right on Velden 2, I think my PBE showcase pretty well, even though I'm like over PDA because I haven't got the right speed, but yeah. 
Oh my god. I'm losing time. I also uh, elaborate on the right chain a bit in the description of the video, of the comparison. If you like, want to learn it properly. The right chain? Yeah. Is the way I do it bad? I mean, just like, I can tell that you don't really know, like, how to position yourself. Um, right, yeah, yeah. With the mid-airs. Like, one important thing is on the last mid-air, you ideally want a mid-air to the right. Uh, as to not run into, like, the fucking parasol thing. <laughs> the parasol thing? Like, like the... Oh, uh, you're talking right side Velden, aren't you? I thought you meant fleet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> of course. Oh my god. Getting clearer. You must have thought I was a fucking moron when I said that. <laughs> yeah. Is the way I do it bad? Like, yeah, of course. You, like, <laughs> yeah, you never you have any speed. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I thought you meant fully. No, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, definitely. I need to learn how to do that. Yeah, I, I, I elaborate, I elaborate on it in text a bit further in the comparison. Nice. Um. <laughs> There's some nuances with like how you direct yourself. I think I just need to like actually watch a video of it being done again and like practice it as well. Yeah. Like, I've, cool. I've been very stubborn about like not practicing new things or like not like. I've been trying to like learn everything on the fly. Like momentum, mm. like uh, momentum carry um, on Kerwin as well. I've just been like, I just yeah. like go for it every run without really knowing what to do. Same. Initially, I didn't sit down for that and then you just fail. <laughs> Yeah, then, well, I did get it. Bit. I did get it once, but it was like I don't really know what I did differently. I basically just yeah, held exactly. R one. I basically just held R one X, and no, no, I didn't. I held R one and just spammed direction input and X, and then like oh, it's like oh, it worked. Mm. I also put that discussion we had earlier. I almost always, or at least the last few times I've tried it, I've had no problem getting keeping momentum from the top of the elevator and directing that into uh, the next elevator, like for the momentum storage. Yeah, you just I, like, I saw that, that one. Attempt. Yeah, it's just like one yeah, mid-air. just landed pretty well. One mid-air, one mid-air, and then a side flip. Yeah, I kind of like minimally tested whether or not it worked out and said like, eh, I feel better like doing a separate chain. Because it loses like at most a second, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I mean, if it like, um, if it's like, uh, and I was like, I guess if France doesn't do it, you know, <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll uh, definitely mess with it when uh, I'm back on that. Since, like, it's it's what I used to do before the low mid air on the side. Yeah. So, no problem with that for me. Except the occasional elevator activation. But I should just not be bad. I think. I still got like a really weird. I don't know why. I don't want to say glitch today, but like on the train. On my like. Uh, and like a couple of times for my PB. I got like. Oh, my fake PB. I got like. Um, the camera just turned 180. And like, I was still facing the other way. I was like. I was trying to think like how that could have happened. But on like, the train. <laughs> on the train. I was just right before the cutscene activated. Instead of like. It felt like right before, right as the cutscene was about to activate. It. Um, it just like the camera went 180. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't turn around in any way. It just, I was like, that's not like the controller messing up because I don't think there's any combination of inputs you can do to make the camera like switch turn around 180 that quickly, unless you were like facing yeah. that way and you just like click to turn the camera. It yeah, was like no. the exact opposite of that, where it's like, you know, I'm facing forward and the camera goes around to like you know, look at Ratchet's face. That's a new one. <laughs> 
I was so confused. I was just like, what the fuck just happened? I failed train twice in a row on two runs. Because I got killed on the second attempt. Yeah. Um, which is pretty great. The first attempt, because that happening, I got hit. And then, like, I hadn't got enough health. And then... On this, uh, and then... I, well, I just got killed because I had, like, one less health than usual. Um, and then... The second attempt, I just took too much fucking damage. I got killed by the, like, guy at the end. I was like, you know how the rockets usually, like, turn? Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I've got one health, and at the end, I'm gonna stand still. And, like, the train was still turning, but the rocket still hit me. I was like, oh. Uh, dude, I always killed that last guy. <laughs> I never want to die to him. Yeah, I really should start you doing get, like, it. like, minimal bulls from it, which is nice. Uh, I've forgotten how to kill these things. There's definitely like a combo that works for him. Funny thing is as well is like the, the long sword that you get, it's like not the like thick magic sword. Is um oh, heavenly blade. has like yeah, has a block break attack, which is like the smallest button combo thing in the game. So it like always breaks enemy blocks. Well most of the time. Sometimes it's called a block breaking attack, but it sometimes blocks and sometimes doesn't. <laughs> Don't ask. Um and it's like a two button combo, so it's like the most useful fucking thing and I just spam it every time I have it but like you can't get out the long sword when you have the heavenly sword which is super annoying because it's like I just want to use that combo all the time yeah fuck that and it's like the starting sword your wins heavenly sword skip in heavenly sword <laughs> you have it contextually for the chapters so you'd have to it's like not an inventory thing so <laughs> I guess you'd have to skip all of the chapters that you play as Naruto with the heavenly sword which is the majority of them. <laughs> it's probably about 80% of them. It's like skipping MasterChef. The chapters to always have to count on. Yeah. It's also pretty funny how, like, the first four of six chapters probably comprise about, um, like, 90% of the run. The last two chapters have, like, four parts in them each. And, uh, yeah. Like, there's just like, like, chapters like 2, 3, and 4 have like 11 sections or like something like that. Like, a lot. And then like 5 and 6 just have like 4 each. And like, they're not longer or anything. It's just like, the whole like final fight is the last two chapters. So it's like, when you get to chapter 4, it's like, it feels like you're only two thirds away through the game, but in reality, like, the game's about to end. <laughs> Interesting. And does a chapter menu sort of reveal that to you, or...? Uh, not before you play the game. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, because otherwise you're gonna look at the chapter menu, like, not only three chapters, it just speeds up. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're done. <laughs> mm. Bruh. I think I'm gonna lose time by not having the epic combo. Having to have sword. Yeah, how many glass have I got? 23. Oh god, that's really annoying. I need to go out of my way to have 24 by this fight. I think I'm gonna lose time on this fight. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely losing time. But I might have to heal. Oh wait, I could actually unlock it mid fight. Just like getting the combos in. You get like, I don't know, I don't know how to ex even explain the glyphs. You just kind of like get a glyph by, it's like the game's kind of version of like a collectible by like doing loads of combos in a thing and you can get like three per section and like you get more combos. Like it's one, the only useful combo that you unlock within a reasonable time frame is when you have 24 of them and it's good for this fight. It's really good for this fight, and I have 23 right now, at the start of the fight, which is really right. annoying. This guy has loads of fucking health. What if I, like, uh... If I go, like... If I do, like, the combo, I just get... Okay, that doesn't even affect them. Oh yeah, baby. 
Oh my god, he's fucking annihilating me. I might die. Oh, I really hope I don't die. Oh, come on, do your thing. I have this combo in the future. For runs, for the next run, I do. To make sure. Oh no. Oh, I got the combo! Phase 3 of the fight, I get the combo. And I have no health. I'm probably dead. Unless I play this really, really slowly. In which case, either way, I'm going to lose a shit over time. I could lose my pace. I could actually lose my pace, which is horrible for the third run I've ever done. Thank god. <laughs> as long as you don't miss the quick time event like you did, right? <laughs> Uh, actually, so the ending quick time event of this fight is, there's actually like a little checkpoint before it. Oh, okay. So you can... Don't, don't do this. Yeah, I don't get any more health bars. Okay, cool. 
I'm just gonna have to like bait him into doing that one attack that I know I can always hit him after. And hope I don't get hit in the meantime. I can take like it looks like I can take about a th maybe a fifth of his health away every time he does it. Oh god, I got hit. Yeah, perfect counter every time. No, it's not counter. He basically like he's like the big fat boss, and his one of his things is that he like spins up into a ball and like fucking attacks the shit out of you, and then he like obviously he gets tired and he has to have a little nap, and that's when you can attack him. Mm. So I've just got to bait him into doing that attack like over and over again. Oh god. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is so close. <laughs> He's actually doing it again as well. Oh my god. No! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude, come on. <gasps> Help up. the fuck? Okay, never mind. It's all fine. <laughs> I just didn't have a health pot for so long. And then now I've got one. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Like, I think like the thing for this fight is that they like throw them on the ground. Uh, like the audience like throw them on the ground or something, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, I've already lost like a minute though because that's slow the fight was. And I've got to do I've got to do the whole QTE QTE sequence again. Gosh. I think there's another cutscene before it ends as well. I might so I'm losing like two or three minutes. Horrible. Oh god oh fuck. Oh god oh fuck. Yeah, I've lost a minute and forty two. Are so they long cutscenes? Is this is this, is this like SMS here? Of waiting. No 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 no. I just just like little like Bits of dialogue where his dad's being like, annoyed at him. Come right. Thank you. The big fat guy is like, I guess he's like a. He's like a. Ah, oh, just. That's not, the, that's not the one that's like horrible to fail. Yeah, that one's like Mr. Death. But I know, I know it now because I've failed it so many times. Oh. oh wait, no, the thing ends, yeah. My split is actually like... So conveniently after every section ends, it's a, like, a little thing comes up saying like, Section completed. So I just use that as like my key to split. Two and a half minutes I lost. A fry. Integrated split moment. Hmm. I'm having an auto split. Oh wait, shit, I should be skipping it. God, it's also, also annoying to forget which cutscenes are skippable and which aren't. So they're like, the ones where it's like doing their like in-game, if you know what I mean, are like not skippable. Because you still, if you press start, you just pause the game. During the like kind of in-game cutscenes. But then occasionally they'll do like pre-rendered cutscenes and those ones are the skippable ones. Oh yeah, like different kinds of cutscenes. Yeah, yes. like pre-rendered cutscenes, but those, those ones are skippable. But like I say, the weird thing about these cutscenes is that like, some of them, you can skip right away, like within a second. And some of them, you have to watch a bit before you can skip it. That's so weird. Like this one in particular I'm watching right now, you have to watch like a good 10 seconds of it. <laughs> maybe more, before it'll let you skip it. And there's no like, re there's no like relevance in terms of like dialogue, there's no like exposition that it's waiting for you to do before like you can skip it like sometimes it's just like random shit that people say it makes no sense like it really makes no fucking sense and between cutscenes that's not consistent either or... no 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 huh. nice. but like sometimes i fail to realize that i'm watching like a pre-rendered cutscene instead of like a in-game one because they look kind of similar if you're not paying attention yeah There's also, oh yeah, I was gonna say it's about uh, the similar thing to like God of War. It's like you know how they have the like the like gate things where you like spam X to like open a door or something. He's like lifting it up, and you have to hope like hell that an enemy doesn't hit you to like kick cancel you out of the animation. Mm. There's a lot of that in this, where it's like oh, sure. where it's like yeah, I just hope the enemies don't hit me because otherwise I have to kill them all, and that loses so much time. Yeah. Or like try and bait them away and then like go and do it again. 
but it's just rare that they'll play ball. Sometimes they will, but like I say, it's very rare. Oh god, I'm losing shit by the time. As I speak, the enemies are not playing nice. God. Lost like maybe a minute here, maybe more. To having to kill all the enemies. Although the next winch is kind of nice because it's like... Um, there's like a cutscene that plays as you approach it, as there's a cutscene that starts, and I think because of the cutscene, um, the enemies just don't attack you. It's really weird. Huh. They just kind of walk around you. There's like loads of them as well, so it would be an- Oh, as I say that, as I say that, <laughs> I just got attacked. God. But it's alright, like, sometimes the, uh, sometimes, um, what was I going to say? The... Um, you can like, if it's like a door, you can open it enough that after you get hit, you can just, you can just dive under it in time. Mm. In fact, that's like optimal, right? Getting hit and not having to do the whole winch. But it's... Excuse me. God. I'm actually like losing my whole place. I'm coming in. No. I know. It's slipping away. It's slipping away. I'm like two hours in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Two minutes ahead. I was like six minutes ahead at one point. Can't be having a first run where the splits say a negative time. Oh my fucking Say god, that shit dude. Time. What? Uh, 
the like throwing physics are like also very annoying. Like to line up a throw properly is basically like like there's no like first person where you can like line up an angle. So you have to just like try and stand facing the right direction. Right, so you have to rely on the targeting system. Yeah, kind of. Cool. I've never got this one first try. It literally feels like it's designed to f you make you fail it the first try. <laughs> and then you can get it the second. <sighs> now I'm a minute ahead. I lost a minute on that section. Anger it. Oh my god, I'm losing even more time. I'm like, actually not gonna be ahead. Heck. Just like doing really poorly on all of these fights. I don't know why. 32 seconds left. My 251. Late game blues, man. Exactly the same thing in the rack. Do some heavenly sword late game RTX. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> With all due respect to the speed game. Of course. It's a great speed game. Another thing is as well, is that like, when enemies are on the ground, you can't just go up and like finish them off straight away, you have to wait for them to start their designated I am on the ground and I am hurting animation, because like if you just walk up to them and press square on them before the animation started, you'll just do a regular attack. Like there's not like the trigger for it yet, I guess. So you have to like stand on their body and like wait a split second for them to start. It's really dumb. I'm trying to find a comparison, but I don't even think Dark Souls staggers work like that.
fucking you doing? Okay, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. No, you're not dead. I'm losing time here. Oh my god, I'm losing time on every split! You know, you can only have nerves when you know it's just going to be such an influential world world record in the world of speedrunning. Huh? You can only be nervous when you know it's going to be an influential world record. I mean, like, yeah. I know that this is going to like, you know, what I mean, it's going to like fucking break the boundaries. Yeah. Running. I'm showing people what they've missed for 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly sword speed running. It's crazy. The new Super Mario 64 speed running. Mark my words, this is like the hottest new speed game. <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's the wrong place, done. No, it's not. Damn it. I was hoping I'd be three minutes ahead. There's another bit that I have to do. Okay, to kill a fox, I can spit. I can save. It's a 12 minute split. My, I don't know what my gold is, because I accidentally erased all of my golds in my first run. Um, but I can definitely save at least like five minutes there. That's my big late game time save. I can get back on track for the run. <laughs> Yo, I actually might save like a minute here, what the fuck? What did I do last time? Yo, I'm back to a minute ahead! Yo! Let's go! Peace! Peace! Oh shit, I fucked up. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to a QTE that was happening. <laughs> Boom, seven minutes gone. Boom. Back to the start, fucker! <laughs> Temple wins as well. It's two seconds get saved. Jesus Christ. Temple wins just short split in the game, 45 seconds. <laughs> How does he do it? Okay, to kill a fox, let's go. 12 minutes 35, and I can do it in like. Basically, I got some RNG that I didn't even realize where like you can get where in the second phase he makes a shitload of copies of himself and you have to kill like all of the copies and it wasted a shitload of time and I also got hit a load because of like that RNG um, and, and died in the third phase pretty cool uh. so I lost like six minutes hopefully I just don't get that RNG this time that's the goal <laughs> just get good RNG just get good RNG it's pretty easy yeah it's pretty it's free. Mm -hmm. One might say. One might say.
Try countering flying fox's range attacks. That hint comes up after the first time I've done the counter. Like I did the counter and then the hint came up after that. So that's cool. Really good first phase. Flawless first phase. Where were you when the new Heavenly Sword World Record got set? <laughs> I don't remember, dude. I just remember the feel. I don't remember the situation. I just remember the feeling. <laughs> the feeling of elation. <laughs> of pure ecstasy. What else would it be? Don't do this to me again. Flying fox. <laughs> fucking fucking mincing this guy. Oh my goodness. This in the whiplash fight, whiplash fights, this run. Unreal. Like, just getting hit after hit. It's just like, oh, what a good fight. So far. Phase 2 done. We're 3 minutes in, and I'm 2 thirds of the way through the fight. This is gonna be Kongol, for sure. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the fastest anyone- well, it's almost certainly the, if I get like a phase 3 of the same, it's gonna be the fastest that anyone's ever beaten this part. For sure. Definitely the fastest recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the fastest recorded. Unless uh, the long player has something up his sleeve. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Long Player. I haven't seen his fight in four. Blocks every single one of those. That's bullshit. Bad orange. Yeah, amazing fight. I missed. Uh, nine minutes ahead. Nine and a half minutes ahead. <laughs> Back on pace. So that's pace. My summer best is 233. My BPT is 241. Let's go, dude! Let's, Let's go. go! Let's fucking go, dude! Let's go! <laughs> what a flying fox spillite. Also, since that missed, I'm gonna have to do that fight again and see if I have to aim at all. I can save like two seconds there if you don't have to aim. Also, after every chapter, um, Nariko narrates to camera and very emotionally. Um, there's like the chapter select screen is like all 3D fully rendered, and it's just her in this like circle of stones, and each of the stones are like it's like the sword, the heavenly sword into a stone, and they're all the chapters. Um, and after every chapter, she stands in the circle, the center of the sort of ring, and just like emotionally narrates some bullshit to camera. It's <laughs> it's pretty special. Is this the lore I didn't know I was missing? Yeah. I'm not really paying attention when she's talking, but a lot of the time it's like, you abandoned me, and like talking about this like off person. To a this person that's like, doesn't, uh, maybe she's talking to her dad, I don't know. I need to find a better way of doing the cannons. Those soldiers are carrying explosives. The soldiers Stop are carrying explosives. The walls. Excuse me? There we go. Yo, what the fuck? Good.
I wonder if like that hits. It doesn't. That hits though, right? Explosive units heading this way. Oh, explosive units heading this way. I guess I could try and make those from this one. I want to tell you that there's this like five minute long cannon section that I'm doing right now and the vibration on the controller is active the entire time. <laughs> it's just, just like... Regardless of what's happening? Um, no, basically, because when you shoot the cannon, it vibrates while like the cannon's flying through the air and you're directing the flight of the cannonball. But hmm. like, that's all the time because it's a speed run. So you don't want to leave gaps between firing cannonballs to like kill all okay. the things that you have to kill so yeah functionally the vibrate is just always on in this section <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty special amazing yeah i don't know all, all i'm getting is that this is just a fantastic game no last speed game <laughs> it's pretty good it's a pretty good speed game Yo, I'm saving time. Yo! I'm out of ammunition. 11 seconds! Optimal. That cannon second could be so much faster. Radical. Death from above, this fucking bit. Stay with My me, least favorite part of the late game. Just like so much grinding, killing enemies. A nice thing though is that like, so basically like a lot of the time, because like I say, a lot of enemies like uh, seem like take loads of hits to kill, or they'll block. So like a lot of the time the strat is if the environment allows for it to try and knock them out off a ledge or something, you know, out of bounds. Yeah. So that they just, you just die instantly. A nice thing though is that like, like a couple of ledges are like are out of bounds, like there's one on this. And they seem to die if they just land out of bounds. Like, even if they could, like, reasonably, given the terrain, just, like, walk back onto this, like, where you are. Like, like you hit them onto a ledge that's out of bounds. And they could just, like, drop off the ledge and rejoin combat. They seem to still die. It's like, oh, cool. And it's like, what? I think the game just, like, oh, you're out of bounds in, in any way. You're just gonna die. Yeah, that's convenient. It is very convenient. Um. Oh my god, please kill. 
Oh, he's still alive. And Shen started walking off. Like they were dead. Wait, oh, they have swords. Didn't think they, these guys dropped swords. Stay with Shen. Yeah, I'm here. fucking like skinny like assassin things have so much fucking health it's unreal some of them die like immediately and some of them it's like i've done four heavy combos on you and you're still alive pretty fucking great sounds like some late game fucking prince of persia units it's like whole waves of them at the end of that game Yeah, they're like basically just ninjas. Um, so like people like all like skinny and fucking like nimble and stuff. It's like you should have no health, like functionally. You should be the one that's like hard to hit. Uh, but like when you do hit, you get lots. You know, you basically kill. But no, yeah. Every, it seems like every enemy in this game has about the same amount of health, but it doesn't feel consistent. <laughs> Pop the bosses. Also. Dang, I'm losing time here. Nine minutes ahead though, so it doesn't really matter. Fucking hell, dude. I'm getting... I'm getting minced here. I'm getting fucking minced. Oh, there's invisible walls on that side. You've got to knock them out of bounds from like one specific side of the fucking bridge. Or whatever this is. Wow, I'm losing a shitload of time. What the fuck? I've lost like a minute already. <sighs> I mean, like, sometimes the combat in this game just, like, goes your way. Like, with those fucking two boss fights earlier, and sometimes it's just, like... Just not gonna get a hit in for like three minutes. Yeah. And sometimes like the enemies just decide to get up like right after you knock them over. Fucking god. Thank you. Oh my god, did I just do it? No. I can't believe this, there's like one enemy left and just give me so much fucking jib. What are you... <sighs> okay, that fucking level just completed. Weird. Yeah, a minute and a half I lost there. Gross. Okay, war machine. This is like actually quite difficult to do. 
It is hard to remember who I was before I had well, machines. Now it is even harder to face what I have become. Once I fought because I had to. I love this part of the game narratively. There's an unskippable cutscene here where she's like, Once I fought because I had to, but now I see the divine in the battle and the beauty of bloodshed. And it's like, wait, isn't like the whole point of like most of these things supposed to be like that your arc is the opposite? That you like start <laughs> thinking that like it's amazing to kill fucking loads of people and you end being like, Oh, actually horrors of war. Um Yeah, this is like this is a pro war game. This is also really <laughs> It's also right before a section where you blow up fight you, the the level is to blow up 500 guys with a rocket launcher. You have to kill 500 guys <laughs> with a certain amount of ammo. And it's like actually kind of difficult because there's like loads of bits where there's like you can get hit and like your rocket blows up and where did the thing go? Where did the thing go? It's just fucking yeeted off. No, don't do this to me. This happened in like... Uh... Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. It is there, right? Yeah. Like, if you get hit, you drop the rocket launcher. It's just super annoying. Um, and the enemies, like, gain on you pretty quick. I said it was a PS3 launch title. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe it's more like an Iraqi war launch title. Uh, mandated propaganda. <laughs> Fucking great to blow things up with the morals, at least this part of the game. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. We blow stuff up because it's like just cool, <laughs> and uh, it's okay because so much of process. In fact, that is literally the explicit goal of this part. <laughs> oh my god, no! Don't let me run out of rockets, dude. Just, uh, need to like, get another big crowd. Okay, good. We're done. To shoot a lot of rockets into the crowd. That's the takeaway. <laughs> Literally, just fire explosives into the crowd. <laughs> into a crowd of people is the is the goal. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can like do this faster by So you can you do actually have a slight amount of camera control. Um so like L2 in the game makes the camera swing pan left and R2 makes it swing pan right. Well, I mean by like swing, but like it doesn't just move it, it's like, you know, like kind of elastic if you know what I mean. Where it's like holding L2 will make it move left until it's a sort of like extremity where it stops and then release L2 and it goes back to normal. Like a, right, kind, of, so. like a kind of swing. Um, and you can do that for about like maybe 180 degrees. And like it's useful for reducing lag and not much else. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's pretty special. How am I losing time here? Ah, I suppose I got hit a lot in the a little bit. Actually, am I might losing time? I don't know when the thing comes up with this. No, I'm golding by 1.5 seconds. Crazy. Insane. Yeah. How does he do it? Should we make a Reddit post out of it? Maybe people will join the fray. <laughs> I'm not gonna post it to our speed room. I mean, 
surely one person might think. Your lag reduction there saved me six, no, four and a half seconds. It's crazy. It's just like a section where you just roll all the way to the end. You've got to like escape. And I just like decided to do it all while looking to the left. And it was five seconds faster. <laughs> That's how laggy this fucking game is. Five seconds. <laughs> Over the span of one. I assume not so large section. Uh, I'll tell you how long the split was. 37 seconds. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> My bad. I said Temple wins with the fastest split in the game, but no, it's that one. 37 seconds. And you can lose 5 seconds to lag if you don't <laughs> lag reduce the whole fucking time. Amazing. Okay, it's just the final boss. Just the final boss to go. It apparently takes like 17 minutes, that's crazy. Final boss is like three phases, but they're all split into the, each individual sections. With cutscenes, I assume. Yeah, yeah. You can see they're all pre rendered, though, which is nice, so you can skip them. Okay. The starting one, though, you can't skip for a long time. I'm spamming start right now. Oh, this is another one where I think. It's like defeat bow hunt. You're basically like the start of the fight is that like you just basically kill all these fucking dudes, but it's on a timer. It's like defeat bow hunt. I don't think you can fail it. I'm gonna risk my time loss now to to say it, because like there's no like oh you have to kill this many guys before the time runs out. It's just like defeat bow hunt. I usually I got like like 600 kills or something. But I've got 25 just from rolling through them because you're like a goddess at this point. They just die to touch you. Um, so if I just do this with lag reduction. I wonder if I'll fail it, and it'll make me do it again. No better time to test. Yeah. What a nice tree we're looking at right now. Okay, let's have a look. Nope. <laughs> Although, weirdly, I didn't gold. I must have done ladder reduction last time. Okay, final boss time. Come on, do something. I had like quite a good, I'm pretty sure I had quite a good final boss in my PB. So I might actually do some time. There we go.
I totally counted both of those. Not that it matters. I mean, it totally does matter. I'm losing time because of it. Dang. Final boss is like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like he has any openings, you have to counter him. So I'm just like, trying to like, get lucky I guess. I don't know, the timing on it just seems so strange. Seems It's either like, insanely tight, or there's something about it I really don't understand. Might have to snag a rare physical edition for the manual. I have a physical edition, and I have the manual. Oh wait, of course. Because it's Sarah, bro. So what was she hiding on the PS3 hard drive that she had to run? I don't I know, dude. We'll never know. We'll maybe never it's, know. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's Pokey's skip. <laughs> could be, could be. I'd like to get really good at this fight. You also don't have iframes when you dodge roll, which is really dumb. Just like... Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no, I missed! Who somebody doesn't get hair back. Uh, health back. Oh, he does great. I was about to go by like a minute. And then yeah. fail the QTE. And they get health back when you fail the QTE, which is awesome. And you have to like whittle down the health a bit more. Which is so fucking stupid. Okay. This one is circle. 
wasn't paying attention. Oh, please don't go up there. It's an absolute mercy that this, that this game does this like doesn't uh, gender QTEs. Like doesn't like randomly generate what the QTEs. Oh yeah. It'd be like just one more thing to worry about every fucking time. Mm. It'd be very annoying. Six forty four. That's a lot. Like this section. I feel like I could I could sub two forty if I got like a really good Bohan three. I think it's unlikely though. I'd have to absolutely mince him. And this guy's like, no, oh, just seems to be like fucking. I'm not getting sub 240, but I'm getting. I might get a 240x. Yo. Okay, just teleported. That's cool. What the fuck? Yo, this is actually so close to fucking sub 240. I'm so mad. No. I know. It's literally just crossed and he's on like a sliver. Just gotta do the final key. I just gotta hit him like a couple times more and do the final key to you. Um, I have decided, as the, as the entire. Me and. I've had a discussion with the entire Heavenly Soul <laughs> community. And we have decided that timing ends on last input. So it ends on the last QTE button press. We can still change the time. <laughs> we can still, yeah, with the community vote, I suppose we could still change the timing. For the sub 240. Yeah. Square, circle, triangle, and the game ends. Some shit like getting a faster real time. 
Let's go. And it's I love the best thing about it is that I love how inconsistent it is because it's not from first input, it's from file select to last input. And that's really important for me. <laughs> that's really important for me to stress is that it's not first input to last input and it's not like file select to fade to black. It's file select to last input. Oh <laughs> yeah, man. Who cares? Well, I just, I'm just, you know, five years down the line when the community for this game is booming, there's going to be like somebody, but I'll be long gone and they'll, and they'll be like, why do we time this really stupid way? Like, this is like the awful way to do it. And I'll have to like come back from the dead at that point and be like, I literally did it to fuck with you. That's the only reason. <laughs> and because I wanted my run to end earlier. And because I wanted my run to end earlier, so I could go to the toilet the first time I um, <laughs> did a run because it was like six hours. <laughs> Gold. So yeah, two forty forty two world record. Let's go. Heavenly Blade community is in shambles. Heavenly sword, dude! Come on, every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> This game does not deserve your fucking indifference. <laughs> <laughs> sure doesn't. Right, okay. I'm actually gonna upload this one. It was Deathless, I think. I think it was Deathless. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna post that on Off Topic. Deathless. Yeah, sub 230 is like definitely the master and before you start looking for like, before it, before you have to start discovering stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I don't know. I got a couple of ideas. Well, the two, two, like sub 230 is going to be like, before or I'm going to, before I'd have to start like, labbing fights out properly and be like, okay, what's the best strat for this fight? Rather than just kind of trying to work it out as I go along. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm just gonna let the ending cutscene play out. I don't really know what happens in the ending. I think she dies. I think I read somewhere that she dies. I have skipped the cutscene every time though. Amazing. Yeah. I'm crying. Personal Welly. Why did she die? Uh, I don't know. We could watch the cutscene. You were chosen. No, I chose. I'm dictating the subtitles. I chose my own way. He chose my own way. And those of us who had died for the sword have died in vain. I'm not sent from heaven, and neither is this sword, Father. Um, this is like after she's been turned into like some sort of goddess or something. This happens like right before the final fight. Her weird friend is dead. She dies. That's very sad. So the making of this game was in vain. Is that a subtle hint by the developers? <laughs> Shitty video game detail. <laughs> it's a subtle nod to uh, how. Oh wait, no, no. I think she's bringing her back to life. Yeah, she brought her back to life. Okay. So Sick. weird girl is now alive again, and dad is like just looking on sternly. Nariko, Kai. Or is she? Is that why she dies? She sacrifices her life for her weird friends. Many people will try to take it from you. Couldn't be me. Keep the sword safe. Yes, I am, Marika. Uh, she's saying it's. I think before she dies, she's telling her to keep the sword safe forever, and now she's gonna die. Father. Oh no, she's dead. Well, she's like smiling like in like a smirky way. That's really weird. She's like on her deathbed and she's like smirking smiling. <laughs> her face is so stupid. I don't know why it like
like the death face is like fading to black on a real close, on like an aggressive close up of her face. And it looks so dumb. Uh, now we've got ending monologue. And this is her in like a, in some petals, like a bed of petals, you know, rose petals, or like, uh, like, not rose petals. Um, like, like, I don't know, I don't know what you call that flower. Cherry blossoms, I think that's the thing. Right, yeah. Kai is very sad. Kai is the weird girl. Um, I am also very sad. She's got much longer hair than she does in the game, I think. There. Seems to be going down to her knees. I don't remember that from the game. I played it four times in the last 24 hours. <laughs> True Heavenly Sword fan. Legit. Okay, I'm done with